to today's event, um, where we'll be discussing the use of um, routine data at scale in, in, in applied social care research and, and considering the potential and the challenges in, involved uh, with that endeavour. This is a joint event um, between NIHR Art West, of which um, I am the director, I'm John McLeod, and it's a joint event with Health Data Research um, UK and my colleague um, David Seymour from HDI UK um, will be um, uh, talking in a few minutes. So. Applied research collaborations, for those of you who are um, less familiar with this um, concept, are, are NIHR funded infrastructural entities uh, that cover the whole of England. There are 15 of them and um, they exist to um, support applied uh, health research. There are collaborations between people who provide health and social care services, people who commission services, universities, industry and third sector organisations. And, and we work together to co-produce um, applied health research, mainly related to the evaluation of innovation that's implemented in the health and uh, social care system, addressing priority needs both regionally and um, super regionally. Um, and uh, Art West um, have um, responsibility for national leadership around applied health and care informatics. And in that regard, um, we work with, with HDI UK and, and, and David will tell you um, more about um, uh, HDI UK later. Um, but in the, it's in this context that, 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 that we are, um, we, we're staging today's, um, today's event. And what we're discussing is the use of integrated routine data at scale um, to improve health and care services, um, either through the evaluation of um, the implementation of novel interventions, um, through, through, through better understanding of system dynamics and um, prediction of, um, of, of service use based on need. And um, Rich Wood um, from, from um, the South West will be talking about that later on. And, 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 and also in the context of, 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 of gaining a better, um, quicker understanding of, of emerging threats as has recently been exemplified in relation to the COVID pandemic. And I think David may mention um, uh, some examples of that in his presentation. Um, in these endeavours, obviously, we, we, we face particular challenges, the usual challenges around using routine data in these sorts of applications, challenges around uh, the permissions needed to access the data, um, challenges related to the integration and extraction um, of, of, of data across multiple information systems that, that may have limited interoperability and, and challenges related um, to using um, data that were never intended to be used in epidemiological applications in, in, in this way, particularly challenges of, of, of missing data and its meaning, um, challenges of misclassification, and uh, challenges related um, to um, the fact that often a lot of um, important and potentially informative information um, is, is relatively hidden in free text. And this is particularly true of social care data, data systems. I think it's also true um, that um, an evidence-based culture is perhaps um, more nascent in social care um, compared to healthcare, but this is changing. Um, and, and the presentations um, that you'll see this morning and this afternoon um, exemplify how that's changing. And uh, they also exemplify the, um, the exceptional potential um, related um, to um, uh, applied um, social care research um, using routine data related to improving care, both for vulnerable adults and for uh, vulnerable children and troubled families. And, and the parallel uh, streams this afternoon um, focus on those two areas. Um, so, What's going to be um, uh, happening today is this morning, um, we have two sessions. The first one um, that follows on from these presentations that Alice will be chairing is looking at exploring um, uh, the potential in this area. Then we have a, 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 a further session um, starting at 12 o'clock uh, around addressing um, the challenges. Um, there's a change to um, the speakers on your program in that unfortunately Professor Ian Buchan can't be with us at 12 o'clock, but um, Dr. Rich Wood um, f f from the Southwest has um, stepped into that slot. And because Rich has done that, he was due to be speaking this afternoon. It means that um, everybody um, uh, will be able um, to, um, to listen to Gary Davis's presentation at the um, end 
end of, 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 of this afternoon's parallel sessions because that will now be the only session um, that's happening at that time. Um, I, I, not to take up any more of your, your time, um, I'll just say I hope um, everybody enjoys today. I hope um, they find it useful. I hope um, you take the opportunities um, to network and um, talk to people with uh, with similar interests. Um, I um, hope at the end of the day um, you tell us um, what you think went well and things that um, you feel um, we could have done better. We'll give, give you the opportunity to give us that feedback. Um, and we've also got a couple of um, polls that you can find in the um, in, in, in the right hand side um, of your screen. If you click on polls, um, you now um, have uh, the opportunity to um to tell us your answer to that um uh, perennial question as to whether um data are singular or plural um without further ado i'll move on to david thanks very much <laughs>